Hi, this is Mike Regan with Transact's Two Minute Warning for the week of April 13th. And in this week's Two Minute Warning, we've got an important question. Does your company have a contingency plan that addresses what will happen in the event that you have a disruption in your supply chain? I was having a conversation with the CEO a couple of weeks ago and I might have gotten myself in a little bit of trouble because I was very honest and truthful with him. He was talking about some of the impact of the coronavirus and how his supply chain had been disrupted. And he asked me what I thought the problem was and I told him in no uncertain terms, it's real apparent. You're taking your supply chain for granted. You think you can make whatever kind of decisions you want to make in the procurement or the sales or operational areas of your company and it's not going to have an impact on your supply chain when in fact there's all sorts of risks that are put into your supply chain as results of the decisions you're making. Now that just isn't Mike Regan speaking. It's consistent with what we learned in our interview with David Simchi Levi that we released a couple of weeks ago. He talked about a survey where he talked to over 600 companies and what was shocking to him was how few companies were actually laying contingency plans that would address what would happen if their supply chains would, were disrupted. Now, when you think about things like tsunamis in Indonesia or volcanoes in Iceland or nuclear events in Japan, it's not like these black swan events have never occurred, but very few companies are prepared for what happens when they do occur. Now, that didn't surprise us because when we go out and do various projects for shippers, we always bring along some assessments and questionnaires. And what is shocking is how few companies, they say they'll do well on it, but when we give them the results, it helps them understand you cannot take your supply chain for granted and expect great outcomes. Now, if you want great outcomes in your supply chain, here are three things we encourage everyone to do. Be truthful, be transparent, and be tenacious. Now, what do we mean by that? You need to actually understand what's going on in your supply chain and stop kidding yourself. Kidding yourself that nothing bad could ever possibly happen. The second thing you need to do is to get together with your team and share the results. One of the reasons are breaking down the webinar silo with CSC and P and NASTRAC. These webinars were so successful because it highlighted the value and benefits that come from cross-departmental conversations with people who are committed to improving the supply chain. The third and final area is to be tenacious. Do not give up. Changing your supply chain is never easy because you're dealing with so many different people in so many different areas, but it can be done. One other way you can get started on this is by giving us a call and talking to me about our rapid assessment process. It'll help you be truthful, transparent, and it will fortify you so you can be tenacious. Now we make all of this available to you because with each and every two minute warning, we are here to remind you, we are on your team. We're here to help and we're passionate about seeing you be successful. Thanks for your time. Boom.